Hello everybody. Wow, it has been a while, a long while. My apologies. I went back to work and then I've also been doing just other bits and pieces, building a house. Everything's been very, very hectic and I just have not had time to jump on here and talk to all of you. So thanks if, um, if you're watching and you're one of my subscribers and you've stuck around, I really appreciate it. And I will try and get more videos your way shortly. On the note of being short on time, I was kindly contacted by Chef Good and they asked me um, if I would be happy to review one of their boxes. Um, and so they've sent it to me for free, which is fabulous. And they've also given me a discount code and it's going to get you, so I have a code, I'm going to put it here. It's going to get you $50 off. So I think $30 off your first box and $20 off your second box. I've never tried Chef Good before. To be honest, I actually just didn't even think that they would deliver where I live. So I live in Gippsland in regional Victoria, but they do. So that's good. And um, they're ready-made convenient meals. There's lots of different options. I'll show you some of those. Obviously, I'll show you what I've got, but I'll show you what other things that you can get. The menu changes all the time. It's fresh produced food. I like it because the calories, so even if you're not doing like the low calorie option, which I'm not doing, um, the calories are still pretty low. Like all the meals seem like they're under 500 calories, which is good. And as I'm so time poor at the moment, um, I'm super stoked to just have meals easy, ready to go. So I'm going to go open up the box and I'm going to show you guys what's inside. And I'm just going to like review along this week. So let you know like what I think of each meal. I'm probably just going to like rate each meal out of 10. I'm going to try and do it for breakfast and lunches. Not <laughs> Lunches and dinners. Yeah, that lunches and dinners. I'm going to show you and you can let me know what you think. And as always, if you like this video, please hit the notifications bell like subscribe all that fun stuff and i promise that i will try and get more videos to you soon especially some grocery hauls i actually haven't been going grocery shopping i've been doing all these online shops and i actually hate it i really like going grocery shopping in person but i did it the other day and i spent 350 dollars at aldi and it took me two hours and i actually didn't record anything because at that point life was going crazy anyway without further ado let me show you chef good but i would just go through the little thing that they gave me so the handcrafted meals new menu every week no hidden sugars fresh local produce natural ingredients there's some stuff about some people that have done weight loss hey there's georgia love i went to uni with her that's a little fun trivia fact for you um wednesday last changes to menu or subscriptions for your week to order billing automatically bill um so as i got sent this that won't apply to me but that would apply to all of you so if you decide to sign up just be aware of those cutoff dates so i can freeze them which is handy because um i'm actually not working this week because my son from daycare is a tier one exposure so he's staying home with us like now the hard part starts how do i decide what to eat first other than I know that I need to eat the naked beef fajita bowl first because it has the shortest expiry. Other than that, it's like, hmm, so much choice and variety, which is good. I just feel like, I don't know if everyone else is this way, but I'm feeling so fatigued with cooking. Being home for such a prolonged period of time, living in Victoria has been challenging. So I'm really looking forward to just like not having to think about food. So I'm about to try my first chef good meal. Thank God, because the kids have lost it. It's Sunday. Um, I'm tired. I went out yesterday to celebrate my birthday belatedly and they've got leftovers which they've barely touched and now they're just, you know, terrorizing the house. So I've got my chef good in the microwave. I went for the gnocchi with the slow cook ragu. I think we'll give it a go. Hopefully it tastes good. It sounds good. I'm going to put a bit of parmesan, a bit of basil on it because I'm just like that. Um, but yeah, it looks tasty. I'm going to get it out now. So it looks good. My camera's not great. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to add some looks like it's already got some herbs in it but i'm just gonna put some fresh basil in it because i am a bit of a basil fiend and a tiny bit of parmesan because again <laughs> i love cheese listen to my child listen to my life help here you go so i'm gonna give it a burl and i'll let you know as i said i'm gonna rate them out of 10 based on i guess like you know a microwavable meal you know, I can't really rate it against a restaurant gnocchi. You know what I mean? Maybe I can. Maybe it'll be as good as a restaurant gnocchi. And then I'll be eating my own words. All right, this looks super duper hot. The gnocchi's really tender, which is a weird way to describe gnocchi, but you would know what I mean. Like the gnocchi that you buy in a packet at the supermarket, it's hard, it's firm. This is good. The gnocchi itself's really nice. Like, yeah, as good as any like mid-range restaurant gnocchi I've ever had. The sauce is probably like my only criticism of this meal because the gnocchi is really, really good. 
This is also probably like a little salty, which I actually thought it wouldn't be salty enough. That's probably my only criticism, but it's really good. I'd probably say it's an eight out of 10. It's pretty good. I like it. I'm a fan. You'll have to excuse the background noise. I'm also feeding my little one, who's not so well, some spaghetti. Uh, so this is the Naked Beef Fajita Bowl. Comes with avocado and a dressing, which I actually don't know what's in. Um, and my one-year-old wants it. Sit down. And the only adjustment I've made to this one is that I've added some spinach to the bottom of it because I just wanted to get a bit extra veggie in. Um, but it looks good. Let's see if it tastes good. About the state of my appearance and the lighting, but you know, it was a difficult night last night. Spice. So if you don't like spicy food, I would recommend not getting this. Um, for me, it's like a moderate level of spice. For some people, they'd probably find this spicy. I don't think I like this one quite as much as that gnocchi from last night. So maybe like a seven, seven and a half out of 10. It's still really tasty though. And I think for some people that this would probably surpass the gnocchi, but that gnocchi was so good. I was actually thinking about whether or not I needed to like reevaluate my rating. And by the end of the week, I might. It was pretty, pretty tasty. Again, probably a touch too much salt for my taste. Um, but again, I have young children, so I don't cook with salt much anymore. So we'll be honest, it doesn't look super good, but I mean, when does satay chicken ever look amazing? It's a big piece of green broccoli. I'm gonna give it a burl. Looks pretty hot after two and a half minutes in the mic. It's not bad. This one, funnily enough, I feel like could do with a little bit extra salt <laughs> after I've been complaining that the others seem salty. Um, I'm gonna have a couple more mouthfuls before I take my rating and I'll get back to you. It's good, I like it. So I feel like I wanna give the gnocchi a nine. I'm like re-rate. But I feel like the gnocchi so far is like a nine. And then the burrito bowl is probably like a six and a half. And I feel like the sardine chicken is maybe like a seven and a half. It's pretty good, I'm a fan. Mmm. So, um, this is really good. <laughs> um, I don't normally like coriander, but it's like just a hint of it and it's fine with all the rest of the flavors. It's a little bit spicy, not as spicy as the previous two meals. What I mentioned was spicy, the satay chicken and the fajita bowl. Um, this is really tasty. I would say it's up there with the um, gnocchi for me. So probably push it eight and a half, nine. Like I'm gonna go enjoy it. Yeah, recommend, yum. So today we have chicken, zucchini, and salsa verde pasta. I've added a little cracked pepper and a tiny bit more parmesan because I'm a cheese fiend, and we'll give it a bell. I actually have no idea what give it a bell means. I'm gonna look it up. This one's really herby. I wouldn't mind like some more chunks of the zucchini. Um, <clears throat> I'd probably give it maybe a seven. It's probably one of my, it's not, I like it better than I like the beef fajita bowl, but probably not one of my favorites, but still good. This would depend on your taste buds, I guess. Okay, so who is Chef Good for? Chef Good is for individuals, for couples who are time poor. It is for people who um, maybe are trying to watch their calories. Um, Chef Good, I think, is for people who like flavor, who want variety, who enjoy convenience. That's, in my opinion, um, who will benefit the most from Chef Good. In my opinion, Chef Good is not for families, particularly not for young families. Obviously, um, you could feed your family, but it would be a very expensive way of doing it. And I definitely think for the convenience factor, um, it's definitely something that for me personally, I would probably only do for lunches or just to have a few meals in the freezer. For my husband and I um, on nights where we've got the kids fed and we just want something quick and easy for us. Uh, I definitely think that can help with cutting down on those kind of like quick takeaway meal costs that kind of quickly add up. So I definitely think having some of them in the freezer is a really handy way to go because they can come fresh, but you can freeze them. Overall, I think it's a great service. I think it definitely has a fantastic, I think it definitely has a target market. And I definitely think that if you fall into that, you should 100% give it a go. Uh, use my discount code. And I think you'll save yourself time, you'll save yourself money. Um, the food's good, the portion sizes are reasonable. Um, do I think it would serve a really hungry dude who's gone to the gym? No, that's just my personal thoughts. Um, I think that they, you probably would want to bulk them out. Do I feel that some meals maybe need a little bit more bulking out with vegetables and things? Yeah. 
um, but overall I think that it is a really really good service um, and I think that yeah if you are looking for something tasty try the quesadilla because that was so good um, and yeah definitely give it a, give it a go I think it definitely was more flavorful I enjoyed it way more than light and easy um, what else have I done before light and easy just any of like the frozen weight which like it's so much there's so much nicer than any of those type of meals um, that I've personally tried before so yeah I hope you enjoy watching this video hopefully I'll have some more content for you shortly I'm about to go on holidays my neighbor's smoking and it's wafting through my window and it's disgusting anyway um <laughs> i hope you all have a fabulous christmas and new year's if you celebrate christmas and um i look forward to as i said hopefully making some more content for you in 2022 bye guys